Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another lipstick swatch video. If you're new here, welcome to the lipstick swatch family. If you are not, I thank you for your continued support. And today's video is gonna be all about Curb and Decay. So I have been doing a lot more um, holiday gift sets holiday gift sets. So if you're interested in seeing the holiday gift sets that I've done previously, I did some on Tarte. I also did Sophia and the Guards Halloween um, collection with ColourPop. I did some on Smashbox. So there's a bunch of videos that you can watch. But today's video is Urban Decay's Sweet Little Vices. And these are all great little lip sets that you can purchase or use as stocking stuffers for yourself. So behind it, you have the swatch of the four lipsticks. And if you look very carefully, you will see that each lipstick has like a print of something on you. Like these two have bees, and I think one is a cherry, and the last one is a matchstick. So the shades in this set are called California Honey, uh, keep tame bang and red hot so we have a nice little variety of shades um, in this set and it retails for $25 I also got this at Sephora it might also be available at Ulta I did not check so you would have to do that yourself and we're just gonna go right into the swatches those are a little hard to come out the first one, it's kind of hard to see the names at the bottom. Okay, so I'll just go from the box. The first one is California Honey. Ooh, this looks like it has some shimmer in it. It's like a gold with shimmers in there. And I will do the hand swatch. Oh, that is brighter than I thought. Maybe my light's a little bit too bright. Let's see. Um, yeah, you see a little better when I dim my light. It's like a golden yellow with shimmers in there. Wow. Oh my gosh, it literally smells like honey. Oh my gosh. The honey scent is strong. And you know what? I like how smoothly this is going on. Well, by the way, this is how much product you get in there. So it's, it's really not a lot. It's a mini set, so you really can't expect too much from that. Each product contains, mm, um, each product contains, 0 0.03 ounces so it's a little, little bit anyways I don't know how I feel about this color it's it's festive it's golden it's very golden I think it'll make a great lip for like a Egyptian goddess costume. Um, it smells good. It applies great. It's creamy. More yellow than what you guys are seeing. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Not an everyday color. Um, I, I still get, I, I think it complements my skin tone and would probably complement people of a darker skin tone as well. So, um, you guys decide. You guys see how it looks, so you can tell more or less how this is going to look on you. But I will leave it at that. 
let's move on to the next one. Next shade up is Keep Tame. And this one, just like the first one, has the uh, print of a B on the lipstick container. All right, so this is looking more, let's see what the box says. So the first one was a metalized honey flavored. It was really honey flavored. Um, and this one is a sheer honey flavored, hence the name Keep Tame. So that's what it looks like. First off the bat, I think the color is great. I still have some gold shimmers on my hand. Okay, this is a great pinky nude. And the formula is, ah, the formula is pretty creamy. See, I like this already. I like, I have my mirror in my hand, but I was looking in my other mirror. It's been a long day. Uh, it's actually like almost midnight my time. And yeah. So bear with me. But how bright is this color though? Look at that. Gosh, I love the formula. This is so creamy. And this one is also, um, what is it, honey flavored? Oops. It smells like honey. It really does. The first two, I love it. I mean, I wouldn't wear the first one that often. I don't know if I'd ever wear it at all, to be honest. But this one, I can dig this. Like, this is your typical nine to five color. You really don't even need a mirror to put this on. But it's so creamy. See? It's not slipping on my teeth. I like this a lot, guys. Mm. It's a perfect pinky nude color for your everyday wear. And for you gals who don't like that crazy bold lip color, you will love this. And it's perfect for the drier winter months. And I usually wear creamier lipsticks in the drier winter months just because it makes more sense. So I like this one. This one is a winner for me. Okay, next shade up is Bing. And from the package, it's a cherry color. It's a comfort matte and it's cherry flavored. Ah, oh, I always do that. Hmm, it's a beautiful pink. It's more like a pinky purple. Which, you know, I love a pinky purple. It kind of leans towards a fuchsia, which I, I love a fuchsia lipstick because I find it to complement my skin tone very well. The one thing that I'm noticing with these is that they can be a little bit too soft where you find that pieces of the lipstick um, are breaking off into little chunks. Typically, that's a sign that it's a creamy lipstick and so it's easy to break off. But sometimes your entire lipstick bullet breaks off and that's not fun. Okay. So far, it's not a bad color, honestly. 
It's a little bit more girly, which I don't mind because I do have those days where I just want to play up my outfit, put on a little pink, little floral dress, a sun hat, some wedge sandals, and that's what I envision with this color lipstick. It's fun and it's playful. It's not extremely bold. It's still like a muted uh, pinkish purple color. So it's still something that you can rock without feeling like uh, you're doing too much. Also, the cherry flavor in this one was not as pronounced as the honey flavor in the first two colors that I swatched. I really had to kind of smell, or tr I had to try hard to smell the cherry, which isn't bad because some of us really don't like our lipsticks to have any scent. But if you're gonna call it cherry flavor, I expect to not have to search for the scent. It was still there, it was just subtle, which is fine. So, so we have one shade to go and these come off super easily and remember this one is described as a matte color as well. Lastly, but not leastly, we have, what is this one called, Red Hot which is also a comfort matte and it's cinnamon flavored. So on this packaging, they have matchsticks on there. Two matchsticks, or three. And it's a red, hot color. Let's do the hand swatch. Ooh, that is pretty. Definitely smell the cinnamon. Look how gorgeous that color is. It's so smooth and creamy. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Let's just get it. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, listen, I love this color already. Wow, it says red hot, but I see a little pink in there. I don't know if it's pink, but there's there's a color in there that's kind of offset in the red. And I can't really put my finger on it. Wow. Guys. <sighs> wow. This color is just gorgeous. Like I said, it's not, it's called a red hot, but I don't really get a red hot from it, but I still like it. There's some other color in this lipstick that kind of dissolves the red where it's not as bold, but still beautiful. And I do smell the cinnamon and I love cinnamon. It's a comfortable matte. It's really comfortable. It doesn't emphasize any lines in my lips. It, it looks super smooth. I just, I don't have anything bad to say about this, this color. What do you guys think? Thumbs up if you like this color. Okay, so my thoughts on this set, love it. I think it'll make a great gift for someone who loves makeup, a makeup lover, your aunt, your cousin, anyone who could use some new lipsticks. I think this will be a perfect set. The only one I would probably not wear is the first one, which is that yellow, um, golden yellow with the shimmers in there. 
it's a pretty color it's just not practical for my lifestyle but it'll make for a great costume you know what i mean so i wouldn't knock it because it serves a purpose for something it's just that that purpose comes around like once or twice a year and um yeah i'll probably not wear that for the rest of this year so yeah other than that i think it's a great set it's a great introduction to try urban decay's lipsticks so yeah i would say give it a try and if you guys like this video make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more swatch videos like this from me because if you don't subscribe, then I don't know how else you're going to know whenever I upload a swatch video. Make sure you click the notification bell as well. I will be uploading more lip sets, especially um, as we near towards the holidays. So yeah, make sure you turn on your notifications so you never miss out. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.